Hi everyone, I'm Danny Walker, you're watching Pageant Access. Today's episode is a makeup tutorial for my final look at the Miss Montana USA 2017 pageant. My brows are already filled in earlier, so I'm going to start by applying my foundation. I'm using RCMA's foundation in C. I'm going to apply it with a damp beauty blender. I actually like to blend just the two darker shades right here. I'm obsessed with this foundation because it's highly pigmented, so it's not going to look cakey as you apply it. And it's going to stay on all day. It's magic. I take some of the lightest color and that's what I use under my eyes and over my lids. For me, this is the best way to prime my eyeshadows. Next, I use Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in Light and I put this all under my eyes and on any dark spots. Then I'm going to use NYX Set It Don't Fret It Powder in medium to dark. Then I use NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder under my eyes to bake and set that under eye. I also apply this to my T-zone and to my chin because it's really blue it's really oily. I lost my eyeshadow brushes. I don't know where they went, so I'm going to make do. But today I'm going to be using Lorax Matte Pro mini little palette thing that I'm obsessed with. I'm going to use Bare all over my lid. We're going to see how this works. Then I'm going to use the color Latte and I'm going to take this in a circular motion from the outside in. I really like to drag this light color out to help make my eyes look a little bigger. After I have that in there, then I'm gonna take my darker color. I'm gonna use chocolate. I'm gonna pat this on the outside corner of the eye. After I got that going, then I'm gonna slowly once again circle it from the outside in. Don't have my fluffy brushes so I'm gonna just take a little bit of pink mauve with my finger and I'm gonna blend these colors up and to the diagonal. We'll take a little bit of black just a tad. I'm gonna use that on the very outside corner of the eye. Now what I'm gonna do is take the Wet n Wild Coal Brown Pencil. Nothing crazy, it's like two bucks. I'm gonna take this and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line my upper eyelid against the water line on the top lash. It can be uncomfortable, it takes a little practice. Now this is important. I am going to actually line my water line, but I'm gonna do something a little different. Normally when you line the water line, it's gonna shrink your eyes on stage, but this is actually gonna make my eyes a little bit bigger on stage. So what I do is first line the inside. Just doing that would shrink my eye. So what I'm gonna do to make them bigger is this. After I line the inside, then I'm gonna take the pencil and it's gonna be flat on my eye. I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm gonna smudge this in now to the lash line. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Pro Palette and I'm gonna use Corduroy. And I am going to add that over this. make it a little more dramatic and I'm gonna drag it up towards the outside corner of my eye to really connect the lower eye to the upper eye since I don't want this to be too dark and crazy I'm actually going to take a little bit of latte and I'm going to put that at the very bottom of it to soften it next I'm gonna add some eyelashes I'm 
I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Mega Liner to disguise this lash line. I use L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara to blend my natural lashes into my false ones. Now since I don't want to have a ton of white powder on my face, I am going to warm this up. I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer in Medium for this. I start at the ear and I blend down in a circular motion. And I also blend into my hairline so it's not strange. Now I'm using the e.l.f. Dark Blush Palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this color right here. I'm just going to brush my apples on my cheek right here up. I'm going to use Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I'm going to put this to blend out the excess white powder that was left from earlier. I'm going to use it just to clean up under my eye a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of the NYX bronzer again, just on my finger, and I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. Now I have Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator, just for the tip of my nose, for the bridge. I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil in Spiced Rum. Then I use the LA Girl Matte Finish Lip Gloss to fill in my lips. This is the color Dreamy. And that's it. Easy as that. I created this look with some limited products, seeing as I didn't have my normal makeup brushes. It still worked. It's really, really easy to create. It does just take some practice. I would say the most important thing to really practice is blending for eyeshadow. I think that was something that I was really struggling with in years past. I didn't realize how important blending really was or how to really do that. And I think that just with a little bit of practice, you guys can easily recreate this look. If you guys want to see any other makeup tutorials or videos, Videos, please let me know I'm happy to make those for you guys thank you for watching the channel and please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up